Hello there, my friends. I know it's been a while, but this morning has been crazy, and I just had to had to get get my phone out and just start talking because it has been this morning has been something else. It's been it's been crazy. By the time this has come out, it's probably been a couple of days after the fact. But this morning. Uh, Nintendo decided to release a Nintendo Direct and uh, I wanted to talk about it because a lot of stuff happened. Like a lot of really cool stuff. Like there was a lot in this Direct that was kind of like filler stuff and that's Nintendo. They do a lot of filler stuff. They do a lot of like those weird farming sims slash adventure. Hey, go out, kill something, bring it back and plant your turnips. That's cool. They, they do a lot of those, and then I'm kind of like, oh, okay, well, where's my Pikmin trailer? Oh, another thing they did, they're doing another Detective Pikachu game, and I was like, no way, I saw that movie, I want to play this game, and uh, yeah, that is a thing, he talks, it's weird, he drinks coffee, it's weird, and I might play it. But again, Pokemon's not really my thing. So I don't know. I do like Ryan Reynolds. I can't tell. Is this a new Detective Pikachu? Or is it like they're porting the old one? Because I know they were... They're porting Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Which is just a 3DS game. And they ported Metopia. Which is also just a 3DS game. So I don't know if they're doing that with this. Or if it's a... Or if it's a new one. I'm, they, they probably said it's new. Okay, so now this, this is where I lost all of my marbles. Because they open with the opening. They open with the open. They show the opening of Super Mario RPG. And you're like, oh cool, they're putting it on Nintendo Switch Online, right? And they're like, Ronzo, Ron. No, they made it look awesome. It looks a Adorable, actually. I just, oh, I, I don't know if you you know this about me, but I just I love the Mario RPGs. I love Paper Mario and the Mario and Luigi series. And then I got the I got Super Mario RPG a while ago on the through the Wii U Virtual Console, and then I was playing through it. I didn't beat it all the way, but I played like at least half of it, and I really, really enjoyed it. In fact, I just played it last week, I think, a little bit. And then I was like, oh, I gotta finish this, but no, Nintendo's like, they made it, they made it look good, you know? That's like, that's not normal, and I am And okay, it's not normal for them to make it look like this, but like this is, this is what I want. This is, this is, I'm rambling, but I am very excited about this. This is very cool. Like if Mario and Luigi can't come back, at least, at least this can happen. And I am all for this. I am going to spend my life savings on this and it comes out this year it comes out in november which is a little ways away but that's okay because we have stuff to keep us keep to tie us over they're also making a, a new peach game which is pretty cool it looks like she's gonna have the powers of cinderella and that's uh interesting it looks like another disney nintendo crossover and i can vibe with that then nintendo announced a bunch of ports of games i've either already played or i just don't really want to play like i played i just finished all the batman arkham games i played that in this last year i was gonna talk about it but then i just forgot about talking about it but they were really really good some of my favorite games and they were coming on switch and my gut reaction was yes Wait! No! Is it the cloud version? And they didn't say anything about the cloud, so I am assuming going forward that it is just running on the Switch. I mean, they're, they're PlayStation 3 games. This was on the Wii U. Arkham, Arkham City was on the Wii U, so it should be fine. 
Then again, they did do Kingdom Hearts PS2 and 3 games, and those are cloud versions, and that's, that doesn't make any sense. Whatever, so th th this is a thing. It is a little weird, though, to be suddenly porting all the Batman games, you know, because it's been, it's been a while. Like, the newest one came out in 2018, and still that's five years ago, like... Like, the Switch was out then, and I get that it, it wouldn't run on Switch, but it also makes me wonder how they're running it on Switch now. Then they also announced the Metal Gear Solid thing. Hurt me more! And that's kind of cool, because I've never played any of those. It's just a little weird, considering that um, there's a remake of the third game coming out soon. So I'm not sure why they're doing this on the Switch right now. I'm sure this was announced somewhere else too. It is a cool thing to have older games available on newer systems, and that is always a cool thing. This one's a little interesting, like, I usually don't want to talk about the little, you know, the little games, but like, this looks interesting. It, it reminds me of Overcooked, but you're an engineer, and as someone who is going to be an engineer, this is interesting and I like Overcooked. So yeah, Manic Mechanics, that looks, that looks fun. And of course the one me and all the Pikmin boys been waiting for, the Pikmin 4 stuff. I mean, they've been giving us trailers and stuff. They just gave us a new one recently, but that is something that is awesome. And I want to talk more about it. It looks really good. And it looks like they're drawing a lot of inspiration from the first two games, because, like, they even had, uh, they had that weird monster thing from the first game, and then, uh, a different trailer, they had the, the Empress Bulborp thing. I don't remember what they're all called, but it looks pretty fun, and I want to do a whole video about Pikmin because it's something that I've loved since Pikmin 3 came out on the Wii U. That's what got me into it. And I'm just glad to see more of it. I'm excited. I just wish it would've come out 10 days early. 10 days earlier. That's my birthday. I could get it for my birthday, but, but nope, it is exactly 10 days after my birthday. That's when it's coming out, which is fine. I'm not salty. But it looks exciting because you can go out in the nighttime, which is a big no-no for the first three games, but it is apparently something you can do now. It even has a nocturnal Pikmin, which is like, what the heck? I thought all the Pikmin were, you know, normal, uh, diurnal, is that what it's called? Day, daytime creatures. But yeah, it's cool. It looks like they're drawing a lot of inspiration from the first couple games. You can get treasures and go in caves, and that is cool, and I should play Pikmin 2. Also, they're putting the first two games on Switch, which is awesome. And yeah, those should have already been on there. Now, this is something that just made me audibly laugh. My, my brother and I were watching, and we were like, there ain't no way. It's a pigeon game with music <laughs> and it's really funny looking i don't care if it's crappy yes please sign me up i'm all about this and then mario kart 8 got a got another look at their dlc stuff which i think has been getting progressively better and better as it goes on like they're adding new characters, and it looks like this time they're adding, like, they're adding three, which is, like, I think that means there's, like, two or three left for them to reveal, and it's, it's cool, because there's Petey, and Petey Piranha is, like, yeah, he was only in, I think, one game. Yeah. Just, I have a lot to say about Mario Kart, actually, but I've been wanting to do videos about that. I've been wanting to do videos about a lot of things. It's kind of a... I'm sensing a trend here. Hmm. Of course, the obligatory Square Enix, uh, pretty pixel graphic RPG game that everybody looks at and is like, wow, that looks super good. And then it's like, why 
Why did you make so many of them? I can't buy them all. They're all $60. So, I, it looks cool. I would play it, but there's a bunch of other ones. I still have to beat Live Alive, or Live Alive, Live Alive, whatever it's called. I, I still have to beat that. And then there's a bunch of other ones that are coming out, and it's like, slow down, man. Um, a weird, weird thing. I thought this WarioWare game was like DLC or an update to the last one they just made, but no, this is a, an entirely new one. I guess the Switch gets two WarioWares, and this one is themed around shaking your butt. That's what I got out of this. WarioWare Work It! Oh, baby! Coming to your Nintendo Switch system. Okay, so here's the main reason I wanted to make this video. The, the entire point of me coming back from my 11 month hiatus just is because of your boy, the man, the myth, the midget, Mario. Oh, it's glorious. It looks amazing. Just everything about this. Like, I saw this and I was like, there's like no way. There's no way Nintendo put this much care into just, I don't know. Mario had one too many mushrooms. That's what I'm thinking. And then, and then like, when he gets the weird flower and then the pipe just starts crawling like it's a caterpillar. Or then there's a tall Goomba. It is so weird. Just everything about this oozes with personality and I love it and I'm here for it. Everything about this is just wonderful and that's probably why they, they named it this Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It's, oh, it is beautiful. It looks good. Imagine a 2D Mario game that looks good. Oh, and Daisy's in it. Daisy's a playable character in a mainline game for once. That's pretty cool, you know? You know, there's Yellow Toad and Luigi. No Blue Toad, unfortunately. <sighs> Gotta say, that's that's a bit of a let down. But, like, everything about this, like, even, like, looking at their facial expressions and stuff, like, that is not normal for Nintendo, and I am very okay with this. Oh, oh, I love this. I can make a whole video about this, but I can't because my family is coming over and I gotta do go-karts and pup putt which will be fun, but it's hot out, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I want to talk about this more. Also, Mario turns into an elephant. Like, what the heck? Another thing I forgot to say, the flowers just kind of talk. You're just walking on the lawn, and you see this flower, and you're like, oh, hi, little flower, and it's like, hiya, I'm a, I, it's, I'm a flower, I'm talking to you now, and it's like, and the other one's like, hey, why, and stuff like that, it's weird, but I love it, like, this is the complete opposite end of the spectrum that Nintendo does, like, either it's super vanilla baseline Mario, or it's just way out there crazy crap, you know? And this is way out there crazy crap. And I'm all for that. I'm gonna buy this. I'm very excited about it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading. Um, I have another channel. I have a second channel. I have been supporting that more than this one, actually. But that's where I do uh, a bunch of stuff with my friends and my brothers. And you should check it out. It's called an institution, spelled with a two. Anyways, bye.